Here is a preview video for Thursday, February 11th. And we are going to be working on lesson seven. And this is going to look familiar. You're going to draw two different area models to represent one fourth by shading the de decom by shading decompose the shaded fraction into eighths and twelfths. So you don't really have a, a choice. So it's either eighths or twelfths. And then um, use multiplication to show that. Okie dokie. So you're welcome. I already made the tape diagrams for you. So those are the area models. So you just have to decompose them. You're welcome. Sometimes I'm nice. <laughs> Aftermath um, and snack, we have grammar and you're gonna finish the metaphors from the other day. So we had the metaphors on Tuesday and they are narrated. You should have already opened this um, and each page is narrated and explains what to do. So you're good for that. Go back to Thursday. Um, we have a special in lunch for literacy. We're going to do chapters 13 through 15. And you're responding to the text. Define perfidy. In this, why did the author name chapter 13 Perfidy Unlimited? Hmm. At least Lester had the decency to weep at his act of perfidy. What does that mean? And perfidy was certainly the word that was in Despero's mind as the mice finally approached the narrow, steep stairs that led to the black hole of the dungeon. Explain the main cause for Despero's feelings of perfidy at this point in the story. So that is your job for literacy. For writing, we're going to be looking and working on narrator's point of view in your writing book. And after recess for social studies, you're going to get to present your final project. We're going to, to do some Google Hangouts and you're going to get to share um, what you have created with um, classmates. So that should be a lot of fun.